So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you have an SD card that is no greater than 32 gigabytes. As you can see, I have a 16 gigabyte uh, SD card right here, which will work perfectly fine for you know what we're trying to do. All right, the second thing you want to do is, is go to hummingbird.com. All right, and then once you're in hummingbird.com, all right, so you want to click on support, and then you want to scroll down to software updates. All right, so once you get to this page, the software update page, you're going to scroll down and you're going to find your fish finder. So I have the, the Helix units. I already have them highlighted. I have four units. I have one mega side imaging unit, um, the Gen 4. I have two Helix 10 Chirp mega down imaging units that are on the bow. And then I have one Helix Chirp GPS, which I have on the console for, for mapping. So um, I already did the, the mega side imaging, I already did the, the chirp. Now I need to do the, the mega down imaging for the bow. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. Click that link. Sorry that the, the camera's going in and out. I wish it would just stay. I guess it sees the mouse moving and the, the frame moving. All right, so it gives you a lot of you know, uh, notes and things to, to read before you do it if you're, if you're not really familiar with it. Then you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom. All right, and you should have your update. Download software. So what you do next, you click on that software. It pushes it up here into the downloading box. And as you can see, it's, it's downloading. Once it downloads, all right, looks like it's done downloading. Now I take my SD card and I, I put it in the slot. Get that out of the way. All right, so once I put the SD card in, as you can see over here on the side, I have 16 gigabyte SD card. And then right here we have downloads. If it doesn't, okay. Download, you're gonna click on download. And then right here, I would click on this real quick and then see exactly which one you're going to be doing. And these are the, or this is the one that I need for the, the next two units that I have. The Helix 10 Chirp, MDI GPS Gen 4s. And as you can see right here, it's the 2.750. Now, I did the, the Mega Side Imaging and I also did the Chirp, and they will also be in this download section. So um, make sure that you clear, I would clear all the, the previous downloads that you carried over to your your SD card just take them out so like if I went in here I see this one right here there's the chirp gen 4 I do not need that in there all right I do not need that in there and I don't want that uh, unit to read that so I want to put that in the trash here's an encrypt as well from uh, the hummingbird download I'm gonna move that to trash all right I think I can move this as well the profile text and I'm move that to trash all right, so all right, now it's cleared out. I don't have anything in there that um, relates to Hummingbird. So now I'll go back up to downloads. I'm gonna take that, just click on it again, just make sure it's the right one, the MDI GPS, it's the one we need. I'm gonna click on it and just drag it to 16 gigabyte. All right, once I do that, saying that it's copying the folder over, super easy. I was really stressed out about this, but it's not even that difficult. All right, so you heard the click or the, the bell. Go over to the 16 gigabyte, click on this, and right there it says the MDI. So now what you can do is click back on the SD and go ahead and take it out. All right, so here are my two MDI units. I'm gonna start with the top one. You wanna make sure that you have all the other SD cards out of here. All right, and if you have multiple units like I have, you wanna make sure that they're all on and make sure that you have enough power to do this. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and slide that in and you give it a, a couple seconds to uh, detect it. So once it detects it, it's gonna let you know. And I'm gonna do the same thing for this, this bottom unit right here. 
It takes a couple of seconds, maybe a minute or so. Should be like a huge tab, just like that. All right, and then down on the bottom, you can see, do you want to take the 2.660 um, and turn it into the 750? Uh, you're going to go ahead and hit the, the over tab. And then this says right here, do you want to abort this? Now, we don't want to abort it because we want to do it. So go ahead and hit over to no. And then now it's going to do the software update. Make sure you don't touch anything. Make sure you're not turning the power on or off, hitting any of the controls on anything else. Just go ahead and let it do its business. And like I said, the two other units that I did already, um, it only took about two minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and let that do that. All right, once it's done, it's gonna power off and turn back on like it, it just did right now. And uh, before I take the SD card out, I wait for one more info box and I'll show you exactly what it is. All right, so this is it right here. This is the beginning. This is where you typically set up. We'll go ahead and hit cancel, exit. All right, it's gonna ask you the English. You say, yeah, exit. All right, so I'm gonna wait before I take the card out. And it's gonna let me know that it encrypt the entire SD card. It took everything that we wanted to update and upload and once I see that little box, I'm gonna go ahead and take the SD card out. There it is right there. SD card successfully encrypt. All right, so once that goes away. And before we go, um, let me just show you kind of how you can see if it did work or not. I hold in the, the view button for two seconds. All right, and then it goes to uh, the views go down to system as you can see go down to system and then go to system status so go ahead and go over and if you look right here the update 2.750 so we got that update I go ahead and take it out now if you're on the the website and you cannot locate your your unit I definitely contact the hummingbird technical support and see if you know they can probably help you out i'm going to be doing my my mega live here in a second so if y'all are needing to know how to update that mega live i'll be doing that video and i'll probably you know attach that video to this video so you guys can check it out but that's as simple as that so i put it into this one it's the mdi i just need to do this one this is the mdi as well and it, it's super quick. Uh, I was super stressed out before I did it, but um, it's very easy. It's not as hard as you think it is. So if you follow these steps, if you have any questions, feel free to you know leave a comment. If you, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see upcoming videos, go ahead and subscribe, but I'll see you next time. Peace.